Good morning. Good morning. Well, well, well. The day after the 12th of May 2018, the European Latin Championships for Adults here in Hungary, Debrecen. And forgive me if my pronunciation is not that good. We enjoyed the night thoroughly and, well, it's early, early in the morning, viewers uh, around the world, please take this in good consideration. And opposite me is a guest from the Netherlands, my home country, and I will ask her to introduce herself to the audience. Clara, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. My name is uh, Clara Lamar, and uh, I was invited to judge the European Championships Latin, which was a great honor for me, and I enjoyed it a lot. Yes, and for the viewers at home, I know this lady is a grand lady of dance in my country, uh, responsible for education uh, purposes in the Netherlands, as well as a very good top trainer and coach. So I'm very privileged to interview her today. Well, uh, we all know the results now, People around the world could enjoy the live streaming and we cannot waste any time any longer. Your components in the final have been technical quality and partnering skills. And I will ask Marcel, our technical engineer, just to show us one of the couples of this wonderful, well organized championship for the final. And for the viewers at home, we only have takes from Roomba and the possible and I think we will start with this beautiful body dance. We don't know what couple takes the floor, but in the end result from Germany taking the second place in the overall result but in Rumba as well. Marius, Andres and Christina. And Clara you had to stick to your two components, the yes. technical quality and the partnering skills. If you like to comment on this couple. Yes, I think this is a very well balanced couple. And he improved a lot learning how to handle her because I think she is a very, very good lady. With very good skills, technical body actions. And their partnering skills improved a lot. So I think I gave them a 9.5 for both technical quality and partnering skills. And it's very difficult not to lose yourself as a judge in the performance because you are telling the story of the Roomba so well. But when it comes to technical quality, this is a good example of counterbalance, holes and drops. They do this perfectly. Your score was 9.5, both for the technical quality and the partner skills. Yes. You can even remember that score, which is not necessary, by no. the way, early in this morning. But this one I remember because for me it was quite clear. You know, it's, I think it's, uh, it's not wise to give it 10. 10 is something like once in a lifetime. So a 9.5 is a very good score. No doubt. Yeah. Please, Marcel, surprise us with one of the other couples in this final. Representing France. Representing France. I always have a little problem with his posture. The way he holds his head and neck. It's always a little bit forward, a little bit too much for me. That's why I like him a lot in Passo Doble, because there it's very good. But in Romba, I think he lacks posture to be the top of the top. Very good lady when it comes to foot actions. She has beautiful feet and ankles, very good balance, and very clear that this is a, a long time partnership and their partnering skills are very good. So I think, I'm not sure, I gave them a 9.25 for technical quality and maybe a little higher, but I'm not sure for partnering skills. In both components, you mark them 9.25. Okay. What should this couple do to 
to improve for you to get the score of 9.5? I know it's a very difficult question. For me, it is his posture yeah. that is really disturb disturbing me. And of course, it is not my components, but therefore his non-verbal communication is not as expressive as in the other as the other dancers. Thank you, Clara. This is exactly really what the purpose is of this debriefing session. It's uh, always interesting for the viewers and the dancers, trainers, coaches themselves to hear this uh, explanation. This is why we are doing this. Thank you. One more couple to go in Ronda. Marcel, surprise us, please. Well, the home crowd favorites from Hungary. Yeah, they were very lucky to dance here in their own country. And they had a great audience and great support from the audience. For me, this couple was a well-deserved finalist, but their foot actions are not as clear as they could be. And their balance is not always perfect. You mark them for technical quality 9.25, mm -hmm. and for the partnering skills, a 9. Yes, because there was a Sometimes the, the physical connection was too physical and I think the cleverness of physical connection is to have quite an invisible hand. That's why I marked them a nine, which is a very good score, of course, because there are only very good couples in this world. What was the surprise of the night for you in this final? Was that a couple from Spain, Guillaume and Rosa, making the final? I think, uh, for me, it was not a surprise, because they deserve to be in this final. It also could have been the couple that turned out to be number seven. But I think uh, Guillaume and Rosa, they improved a lot. And what I like about them, it's not about scores, but what I like about them is that they are different from the rest and they do not fit in, they have their own personality and they do this perfectly. Yeah, and that's why I asked you, because Marcel, you're a technical engineer wonder, is it? Can we go to Paso Doble and see the couple uh, from Spain? If you do need a number, what was it? Right right. One, two, five. Well, great. What a special entrance they, this yes. couple made last night. Yes. The audience really reacted yeah. straight away. Um, but I've seen them before, also in their home country, and I think also on a Grand Slam. And so I, I know what to expect from them. But you know, my components were technical quality and partnering skills. I think they're great in partnering skills. Technical quality is not their best component. For sure, that will be movement to music or choreography and presentation. But I think in the technical part, they improved a lot. Her feet and ankles are not always perfect. You could just see what should have been a heel turn, which was not a heel turn. But I like his posture a lot. Yours a little bit less. Sometimes her center is not strong enough. But overall, if I was not a judge, I would be in favor of this couple. Well, I can imagine. And the home crowd was really very supportive to support this couple yes. that well too. Yes. And the audience is never wrong, I always say. Yeah. yeah. And it's not a surprise really that they made the final, no. but it has been a journey since last year, going from the one improvement to the other in their performance. And yeah. But still sticking to their own unique style. Yeah, very unique style.
Can you remember the squash you gave them in Pasadena? I think for partnering skills, I give them a high mark, maybe even a 9.5. You gave them, for the technical quality, a 9. Mm -hmm. And yes, well done, for partnering skills, a 9.5. Yeah. What, uh, what is extremely high, really. Well deserved. Finally, the last couple, please. Marcel, in Paso and preferably one of those we didn't see yet. Well, for the viewers at home, of course, you will know the result, but these are our European Latin Adult Champions 2018, representing the Russian Federation. Yes, and when it comes to technical quality, I especially like the isolation and coordination within their body movements. They're also very, very clear. And she has perfect feet and ankles. And when it comes to dynamics, I think they're the best couple on the floor because they make the, the best contrast when it comes to weight, time, flow and space. So for me, it was not a surprise that they were the winners. But when we are doing the scores, we are not busy about who's winning. We're just putting the scores down. And for sure, I gave this couple a 9.75 in both technical quality and partnering skills. Everything comes so easy. And even that Paso Doble is really the dance of the man, so it could have been quite physical. The physical leads are so very, very clear, but not too physical. And a lot of time in Paso Doble, the men tend to forget that. And stillness is one of the best qualities he has in Paso Doble. Perfect. Almost perfect, otherwise you should have given it then. But now it's once in a lifetime. Five, you know. Yeah. It's a, it's a very high score, well deserved for this couple and I think we as a WSF can be proud about uh, all the finalists. Yes, yeah. for and sure. Even in the semi-final, the, the standard of the They were very event. nice couples, yes. Wow, it was amazingly yeah. high. Yeah. Clara, finally, as we have to come to the end of this uh, debating session, I think for the viewers at home, it's, it's very good that they knew the judges even better because I stated once that uh, a debriefing session done in a wrong way could be disrespectful for the judges. Mm -hmm. But now I noticed that through these sessions, especially now I have the same feeling with you, you're very knowledgeable. People around the world will know that you're very knowledgeable. I knew, but now they know. Thank you. So in fact, it can restore the respect for the judges as well. And yes. that's, I can always say thank you so much for sharing this information with us and I hope to see you more often somewhere, somewhere in the future. Thank My you, pleasure. Thank you very much, Paul.